Good morning. I'm headed for a fish day. So all you reef tankers out there, reef tankers, I'm headed for one final drop of my big office reef tank stuff to my friend Leo's factory where he has a 500 gallon tank all set up and uh, we'll be able to revisit some of the corals that I gave him a few weeks ago and see how they're doing. He's cleaned his tank, it's beautiful. He's looking forward to us seeing all the growth that's been happening since I last visited. Let's uh, really quick get over there because it's like a 45 minute drive. But first things first, we gotta go to the office and grab some final bits of rock and get them over to him. So, see you there. All right, here at the office. So what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna take the sand, a few buckets at least of the sand because Leo can use that live sand Sand that has been in an established tank for a long time is actually very healthy. So I'm going to take some of the sand. I'm going to take the last pieces of rock here. I'll take my fish. Then I will take the, um, the algae that's in the uh, refugium. And then this tank is going to be officially ready to shut down. Anyways, a little bit of work to do there. Let's go. It's all emptied out. Turned off. I don't know when it'll turn back on again. I got most of the sand out, so I'll take that to Leo's. All the rock, the remaining fish, some hitchhiking snails. But beyond that, the ending of Matt's reef tank, officially. <laughs> All right, I gotta get in the car. I got a long ride ahead of me, and then I gotta get this to Leo's. And then you will see some live stuff. Instead of something closing, you'll see, see things growing. Hey, this looks familiar, guys. Leo's tank. I wanted to do a mass reef tank, and I will a little later, but this is for the vlog. The, I think what happened, I don't know if you can tell, but I think there was some, some spawning going on in here. Some snails were getting it on, and you can see it's a little bit milky. And that's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be crystal clear. I should be able to see all the way across look black. It should look sort of like that. So we're going to do a water change. Maybe we can get it back into... Uh, into clarity and then I'll film a nice nice big video there. interesting to see Leo's tank because the growth in his tank is so much better than mine ever was. Maybe in the beginning when I first had my fish tank I really focused on a well-balanced tank and when I really invest the time into it but towards the end everything sort of fell into disarray and when I gave the corals to Leo he's showing me the the corals that some of them were on death's door and, and he just kind of brought them back from the dead. This piece of coral in particular was white. I thought it was dead. We were almost gonna throw it away, right? But thank God we didn't because right now it's, it's all of that is brand new growth. And then my brain right here, looking beautiful. And then that's my coral right there. It's, that's looking fantastic. The fish we just donated, we've got the blue chromies right there. He seems like He's gonna be the boss of the tank pretty soon. And then Cumdrop is right there. Did you notice the name? His name is Cumdrop? Cumdrop, okay. Do you know what it is? Happy. finished at Leo's. Now I'm gonna head back. It's a really nice ride actually from Bayloon, which is where Leo's factory is, back to Ningbo. Um, I'll catch up with you guys later. 
nice to see all my corals and stuff in his uh, tank. But I'll tell you what, it's really weird because I always thought I was pretty, pretty good at taking care of my corals, especially when the tank was kind of new. But it just sort of fell into disrepair after a while and I just couldn't get the color and just couldn't get the performance of the corals. And we put some of the corals that I thought were not doing well in his tank and they took off like gangbusters. I mean, his coral growth in his tank is just phenomenal. It's kind of, not an insult, but it's just like, wow. Makes me realize how, how bad of a job I was doing. <laughs> Bummer. But it also makes me happy that they're now relocated in a place where they can thrive. All right, back at the office. Look at her. Almost empty. Mm. I gotta scrape the back down. I gotta clean out the sump. I emptied most of it, but it's still dirty as heck. It's gonna be really difficult to relocate this tank, especially if we lease out the office, sublease it. They, they need to turn that into like a terrarium or something. Just put a little potted plant in the middle because <laughs> it's a lot of work. And if they want to turn it into a fish tank or we want to move it, I think it's going to be difficult. Anyways. <sighs> Bye, tank. The ending of an era closing down that tank completely. It's still got a little bit of work to go though. I gotta dry it out, chisel off all that grime and, and coralline algae that's built up everywhere. That's that purple white stuff that's on the glass. It's basically like stone, built up calcium. It's hard to get off. Bunch of things that need to be wrapped up before I start my tour. Gotta only take them one at a time. I'm uh, meeting Annie and the crew at uh, the Italian restaurant. Finish the day, wrap it up. You are so cute. All right, guys, I'm not sure how this vlog is going to come together. Primarily, this was a Matt's Reef Tank day, but I did record some other stuff. So, well, let's see what that comes of this. And uh, I will see you uh, tomorrow. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and uh, Jio. And I apologize if this episode is disorienting. I might not even put it together, so if you do see my face here, it must have been worth it somehow. Anyways, take it easy. Bye-bye.